This is probably the most important video I've ever made about sheep. Keep watching to find out why. Hi, I'm Natalie Lucier from Waykeeper Farm and Nerdery, and I raise dairy sheep in Southern Ontario, Canada. Now, full disclosure, I'm not a vet, I'm not a sheep nutritionist, but I will cite my sources and share my personal experience in this video. I wish I had known about the proper use of copper sulfate before I brought sheep to my farm. It literally would have saved lives. Now first, let's talk about why everyone freaks out when you use the word copper and sheep in the same sentence. According to author Pat Colby in her book, Natural Sheep Care, too much copper kills and too little copper also kills. So if too much copper is so dangerous and can kill sheep, why is it worth investing the time to figure out the proper dosage? Simply put, copper sulfate destroys parasites in the intestinal tract of sheep. One of the biggest issues for shepherds all over the world is managing intestinal parasites for sheep, which we also call worms. The worst of the bunch is Haemonchus contortus, which is also called barber pool worm. Now there are tons of other parasites as well, but I think this is the worst one and we've personally lost sheep to it and it's terrible. Solutions to parasites often depend on deworming sheep using chemical products. However, parasites can become resistant to these chemical dewormers. Some dewormers that used to work great against all parasites are no longer effective against barber pool worm. Luckily, smart people are still working on creating new products that are going to keep working against these parasites, and it just becomes a bit of an arms race to keep buying new products all the time. Why do so many shepherds struggle with parasites? It's because all sheep have a small amount of these intestinal parasites, and for the most part, they can keep them in check. However, the life cycle of these parasites is what makes them so hard to get rid of. When sheep defecate, the eggs of these worms end up in the grass, where they will hatch and then eventually climb up the blades of grass if it's a moist and warm environment. And then later, they'll hitch a ride back into the sheep when sheep graze nearby. With good rotational grazing management and enough pasture, it is possible to keep barber pole numbers down. Unfortunately for a lot of small scale farmers and shepherds, there's just not enough pasture to rotate the way that would really reduce the numbers. And that's why we need another tool in our tool belt. Now you might be thinking, well, if all sheep have a few worms, how bad can they really be? What damage do these worms actually cause? I'll tell you. Barber pole worms are blood suckers, and they suck the blood from the intestinal lining of a sheep, causing anemia. Now, anemia is a very big deal, and a very advanced case of anemia might show up as bottle jaw, which is when there's a lump or swelling that forms under the chin, and that is caused by a fluid forming right here because of lack of blood. Now, you might also be able to detect anemia before it gets to bottle jaw just by looking inside the eyelid of your sheep, and if it's very pale, that means you have anemia going on and if it's still pink and bright or a little bit red even that tends to be a much better sign that there is less parasite load or less anemia. Anemia is so serious that if it's not treated quickly it can lead to the death of an animal. Now I'm speaking from experience here and I can tell you that preventing anemia is way easier than treating a sick sheep. Plus if you're able to reduce the parasite load it can reduce the chance of other sheep getting more sick if you have fewer parasites in your flock. That's another benefit of using a mineral regularly as opposed to deworming on a schedule because you're going to overall reduce the parasite load in your entire flock on a regular basis. Now that's not to say that I don't use dewormers or don't recommend dewormers because honestly I think using a mineral like copper sulfate and dewormers means that we have more tools in our tool belt and honestly our sheep could use all the help they can have against these blood sucking parasites. Now let's take a look at how to administer copper sulfate safely. So there are two general ways that I've found to do it. The first method is one where you'll create a copper sulfate and distilled water solution with a specific recipe and then use a drench to give them orally to each of your sheep every three months. So you give them a specific amount every three months and that should give them a nice edge against parasites. This method was tested and described in Melinda Mallory Simpson's thesis at Kentucky University. In her master's thesis, she found that administering copper sulfate in this method did not result in toxicity and was able to control parasites in ewes. I'll put a link to her thesis below if you're curious about reading it. If you want to make this solution, there's a great video by Lanessa Farms, which is where we originally found out about this method, and I'll put a link below so you can see how to make it yourself. On our farm, we stopped having sheep with anemia, and we haven't lost any sheep since we implemented this method. Now, method number two is the one described in Natural Sheep Care. So this is to offer free choice copper sulfate as a mineral alongside a buffet of other loose minerals. 
The idea is that sheep will self-dose on the amount of copper sulfate that they need and they'll be able to self-manage how much they need. We personally switched to using this free choice mineral method because we realized that wrangling sheep is a lot of work every three months. The more sheep you have, the more wrangling is involved. My biggest hesitation was that I wasn't sure if our sheep would be able to self-dose because we know that too much copper is dangerous. But surprisingly, they have figured out how much they need. We haven't lost any sheep to copper toxicity and they're able to self-manage. They seem to just have some sort of intuitive sense to what they need. The only issue we found is that smaller sheep have a harder time to reach the mineral buffet. So if you have really young lambs that are separated from their moms, then I would say making sure to dose them with a drench before you separate is probably a good idea. Uh, or just keep them with the ewes longer because the ewes are also able to provide more immunity to their young ones. But the other thing is we need to use the right kind of copper. So we're talking about copper sulfate and not copper carbonate. Pat Colby talks about how copper carbonate is twice as strong and way, way too strong to use with sheep. If you're going with the free choice buffet, you wanna make sure that you don't just offer copper sulfate and nothing else. You wanna make sure that they also have access to sulfur and dolomite. So these are recommendations by Pat Colby and she has in her book all of the different minerals that she recommends to keep sheep healthy. But those two in particular, she recommended to have alongside and separate from copper sulfate so that sheep can really self-dose if they overdo it with one one, they can sort of balance with the other. At least that's how she seems to explain it. And we have found success with offering these other minerals alongside copper sulfate. The other thing that she recommends in her book is to test your soil. So if you do some soil testing, you'll know what minerals are available in the forage that your sheep are eating and which ones they might be more deficient in. And I think that's just a really smart thing to do. Now, if you're watching this video and you realize, oh my gosh, I have sheep that are anemic, either their Fumacha score and eyelids are pale, or maybe they even already have bottle jaw, should I just immediately give them a drench of copper sulfate? And the answer is no. And that's because copper sulfate is so powerful at getting rid of parasites it might cause worming shock. Worming shock is what happens when you kill all the worms right away and that leaves holes inside of the intestines of your sheep where fluids can move back and forth and cause toxicity and even kill your sheep. So what should you do if your sheep have severe anemia caused by worms? What you wanna do is slowly kill off the parasites, not all at once. The other thing you'll wanna do is make sure your sheep are supported to regenerate their blood and help heal up those holes that are caused by these parasites. To learn more how to do that, I'm gonna link you to a Lanessa Farms video that I think is amazing and it's all about worming shock and preventing it. So as you can see, it's much easier to prevent parasite loads getting too high than it is to treat a sick sheep. So I highly recommend implementing copper sulfate into your management system one way or another and doing it safely. Personally, I would not wanna have sheep on my farm if I didn't have copper sulfate on hand. Now, if you're thinking of getting into dairy sheep, then you'll wanna find out the startup costs of getting involved with that. So watch that video next.